everyone, I'm Kate, your pastry chef here at the University Club. Thanks for joining me to do another decorating video. Today, as you see, we're doing Dr. Seuss to celebrate his birthday and reading month this month in March. Um, this is a great activity for the whole family. It comes with a variety of colors uh, so that you can do these designs, which I'm going to show you, or any designs you choose or just something fun. So to start, um, I'd recommend that you have a few things on hand. Everything um, that you see here is gonna come in your kit. You're going to get this variety of colored icings and some eyeball candies and um, three each of these shapes. So it's got a lot of variety for you to decide how you wanna decorate it. However, I do recommend that you keep close to hand a pair of scissors to trim the piping bags. Uh, if you'd like, a spatula or butter knife or even the back of the spoon to spread the icing on there and definitely a clean towel. It's always helpful. So to start, I'm gonna show you um, two different methods for putting the base color on the cookies. All of these that I have prepped have been um, sort of fake flood icing cookies in which we're gonna heat this icing and fill it in. Uh, but you can also use your spatula or butter knife to just fill in the cookie as it works for you. Um, the first one I'm gonna do is going to be our bluefish from our redfish bluefish. And to start, be sure that you're not trimming the hole on your piping bag too large. I actually like to trim down the side just a little bit to cut off that edge, but we're gonna cut very small. And keep in mind, you can always trim that a little bigger, but once it's it's there, you don't want it to be too big. So we're gonna start by just giving this a little bit of a border. I like to let that icing fall a little bit when I'm piping it. It gives me a little bit of a cleaner line instead of having it drag through its own icing. And this icing has been preheated in this bag. Um, remove the twist tie, obviously, there's metal in there before you microwave it, but about 15 seconds, 20 seconds is perfect. No longer than that, um, it, it is sugar. It will be molten hot if you're not careful. So I'm gonna trim that a little bigger now. Now that I've got my border, and now I'm going to flood the icing in. And this is a technique that's usually done on royal icing, but can be done with pretty much any icing as long as it's warmed up. I'm just gonna fill it in. And where before, I didn't wanna let it push all over the tip of the bag, I wanted to let it fall. In this technique, I kinda wanna squeeze it down so it comes out flat. And it, since it's a little warm, it's gonna wanna flow together. So I'm gonna just fill that in. And a good way to kind of force it to flow some more is just carefully give it some taps. So one of the most fun things about these Dr. Seuss cookies is that uh, they don't have to be very exact. They're drawings from the books and uh, to give that look, we're gonna use some of this black piping, but keep in mind that it doesn't have to be that neat. It's gonna look like a drawing regardless. So that's one way to base a cookie. Um, the other way that we can do is we have, even though these will all come to you in their piping bags, you can use this to just squeeze out a portion onto your cookie to ice with. So I'm going to, this is gonna be our cat in the hat cookie. Just put some on there, I'll get that out of the way. And use our spatula to spread that around. And one of the things that you wanna learn when you're using a spatula is you don't need to use the whole length of it if you have one or the whole length of the butter knife. Use a little bit more of the tip to spread it around that way. And that way you're deciding where you push that icing instead of having it be stuck and gummy all over the whole thing. So, real simple. All right. So, we'll let that set. This icing is really fun to work with. If you've done any of our other cookie decorating videos, you um, have worked with the same icing. It's one that's really nice to be able to heat to consistency. Um, the more you heat it, the runnier it's going to get, and then it will set sort of firmed up because you're heating that sugar and cooking it. So we'll let those set. And in the meantime, we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you some piping. Now keep in mind, these are the ones that I chose um, to go with our Dr. Seuss theme, but since you have a rainbow of colors, your, each of your designs can be whatever you choose. Your favorite image from a book, um, your favorite quote maybe from a Dr. Seuss book. And for that, one of the easiest things to make those lines that look like 
the hand-drawn lines in the book is to use this black icing very thinly. So I'm going to cut in this one the tip very, very small. And this icing, the black icing is a little runnier. It doesn't need to be heated. And keep in mind, like I said, you can always trim the bag a little wider, but for this, you're gonna want something very small so you can get that neat little ink drawn line on there. So for this, it's gonna be our blue fish, and I'll turn this around to pipe it. The best way to get a little bit of height um, and keep your lines from running together is to make sure that cookie is set for just a few minutes until the icing will sit on top. And that's how you can get the lines to be raised or when we come to this you'll have the mustache a little raised you want to let the base dry for a few minutes so this this one's all set don't forget oh, I almost forgot something I always forget is almost put the eyeball on there so we'll put that on there while the icing is wet so for this what I recommend with a piping bag if you should choose to do this especially since it's um, pretty small little lines hold the bag at the top up at the top it can be right here or down a little bit and give it a twist and the best way is to actually just lean one finger on it or two fingers. You don't need to hold it with both hands. This is gonna steady you because it's gonna pull in your upper body as opposed to just one arm. So I'm gonna start by tapping down. And like I said, I like to lift up the piping bag a little bit and let it fall. You don't need to squeeze too hard. This is a pretty loose icing. I'm gonna make my border here. I remember it doesn't have to be perfectly neat. Dr. Seuss drawings are quirky. All right, um, from what I have seen, Dr. Seuss's fish usually have a smile. So we'll give this one a smile. They also have eyelashes. So we'll put a little bit on there. And we'll come up here, we're gonna do the fins and the tail. And keep in mind when we're drawing with this icing, when you want to end a line tap down a little bit let off no squeeze and then lift up and that way you're ending the icing before lifting up the piping bag all right so one thing that is nice again without having to have that perfection since these are going to look like drawings uh, sometimes with the dr seuss ink line drawings they're actually a little intentionally messy so I'm actually just gonna make this fin a little loosey-goosey. And just that simple, you've got the bright colors, you've got the dark inky looking lines from that, and that's really how you can get the Dr. Seuss look if you want. But of course, fish come in a variety of colors, a rainbow, you can do whatever color you're looking for. So using the same technique, while we're gonna have the icing, the piping sit above the cookie like that and give you a nice clean line, that's what we're going to do with this Lorax cookie. So this one is all about the eyebrows and the mustache. And so we're gonna put a whole bunch of this yellow piping on his mustache and his eyebrows and go to town. But what gives it that raised look is by letting each layer sit a little bit. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna start by making a first line on that mustache both sides and come through here and put the next little line on each side and one more down here all right well that sets for a sec I'm gonna go ahead and give him his big fun eyebrows So most years here at the club, we would have a Dr. Seuss celebration with everybody. Bring your families and enjoy brunch and all the bright colors of our decorations. And in lieu of that, we're doing this cookie decorating this year, but we would love to see your designs. We'd love it if you sent us a picture, emailed us what you come up with and your creativity and your family. Um, Dr. Seuss or not, colored fun decorating is always a blast for the whole family. So coming back onto this, now that it's set just a second, I'm gonna go ahead and give it another couple little whiskers, thick whiskers, that hopefully, because the icing is set for just a second, 
will stay raised over that cookie. I'll give them one more little eyebrow. And then, the only other part of this one is his little nose. So we'll pipe the same color that you put on the base of the cookie, whether you, uh, you put it on there with your spatula or if you piped it on trying the flood method. And give him one little dot there for his nose and let that sink. And pretty simple. Go to town on his mustache, you got plenty of space, lots of space for those big eyebrows and that Lorax. And those two are simply done. All right, we're gonna move on to, let me move these ones out of the way. Move on to our cat in a hat hat. And this is another one to keep in mind that you can't really mess this up. It's a drawing and we're replicating something that wasn't perfect to begin with. So we're gonna give it a few intentional spots where it's gonna have a few little um, broken lines in the drawing. Now your first step is to, um, I'm gonna do this one facing you so you can see. You're gonna make a sweep around for the uh, rim of the hat, but it's never gonna be perfect. And we're also gonna have a little overlap to give it a little bit of imperfection. So we're gonna make this big circle and we're gonna swoop back around right to there actually. From there, I'm gonna fill in a little bit of where your head would go. Keep in mind, just piping easy with this black icing. We're gonna give it a little bit of a highlight line here. One thing I noticed while looking into doing these cookies was that there are a lot of broken lines in Dr. Seuss's coloring and designs. It's not all perfect, and you almost wanna add in a little bit of imperfection. So for the top, it's not gonna be a perfect square. It's not gonna be a perfect bean. You're gonna go ahead and just kind of swoop it around and fill up your cookie. We're gonna go back, and you can see how the towel is important. I like to wipe the tip of this off and keep it clean so it's not dragging through its own icing. And we're gonna give it four lines, and that will give it five stripes, different colors. So starting smaller, and then the next one up is gonna be a little bigger. There go, gives it some dimension. So from there, we're actually gonna use that flooding technique um, you can heat this if you want. I'm not gonna heat this one up, but again, about 15 seconds is good. And trim this down. And we're gonna squeeze this and let it flood right into a few of these lines to give it its cat stripes. So we put this right in there. You can let the black set if it's gonna be in your way or if you think you're gonna bump into it. You're just gonna fill right in there with this icing. Get some cool volume. Keep your black lines, it's almost like filling in your own drawing. So from there, to follow with the Seuss theme and give it some hash marks, which is the style of drawing that he does, we're gonna add in a little bit of these semi-broken ink lines. You can, of course, always omit the black if your family prefers not to have that food dye. Um, lots of colors to work with. We're gonna give it a little shadowing, broken up. Just that simple. So there's our Seuss hat cookie. And then our final one is of course our green egg to go with a ham. This one's very simple. I did flood this cookie, but you can um, spatula it on there, spread it on there. I didn't fill in the whole cookie because I wanted to look a little bit more roughly like an egg, but of course you can style it any way you like. This is a very simple one. We're just gonna fill it in with a green yolk and then do our black outline on there. So I'm gonna put my yolk off to the side a little bit. I cut the tip on this bag a little bigger but keep in mind also, if you are gonna wing it and make some of your own designs on the other cookies, you might wanna keep that trimmed small so it's not too big for you if you're creating your own design. And we're gonna go ahead and pipe in our ink lines. So same as the other one, um, I almost felt that leaving a couple little dashes and breaks in that line helped me make it look a little bit more Susie. but certainly you can do it as neatly as you'd like.
from here, I'll trace my yolk. And then do the same thing. Give it what's going to give it a little dimension by sort of opposite highlighting the parts that would be giving it its shape. So we're going to give it a little bit of lining towards the edge and then right up next to the yolk there. So a simple design. And that's how I created these Seuss cookies. And I hope that you will try these designs, um, but certainly there's so many options for you to be able to decorate with your family and create whatever you guys find to be inspiring. Maybe another book you enjoy, um, but certainly send us photos of what you've created and join us again soon for another decorating video. Um, be well and hopefully we'll see you soon.